how to remove copyright claims on YouTube is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True True Tucker channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it and turn on post notifications and then go and leave a like as well. It gives the video to more people. So today I'm showing you how to get rid of some copyright claims on your videos. There are ways to fix the issues when you run into copyright claims and I'm going over different methods of how to do this within the YouTube studio. So if you're ready for this, keep watching and do not skip any part of the video. I'm explaining different parts of it so I do recommend just watching the whole thing so you get a good idea of what I'm talking about and how to fix the overall issue or how to sort of get a by the overall issue and impacts of having the copyright claims as well. The first thing you need to do is come to youtube.com like you usually would and then come to your creator studio. Now to do this all you've got to do is come to your logo up here, click here and then go down to YouTube Studio, and it's gonna take us to the YouTube Studio. And as you can see here, this is a brand new channel. It's simply a test channel I use for my tutorials, um, and that's why I just like my main tutorial. As you can see, zero subscribers. Now let's go and see if we can remove this copyright claim. So you need to come down to videos, and as you can see, I've now got all the videos I've got here. So I've got example video, example video two, and example video three, all are public. And as you can see, this top one has got a copyright claim under restrictions, copyright claim, while the others have none. This is because I use a copyrighted music, which is on the YouTube database, which has been detected. Now to go and find out more about this, all you've got to do is hover over the copyright claim and we can see details. If you are monetized, you may be ineligible for monetization, depending on what the copyright owner has decided to do. But to find out more, all you want to do is hover over a copyright claim, and then you can click on see details, and it's going to load up this tab right here. As you can see here, the channel impact is currently nothing. The content ID claim on your video doesn't affect your channel. This is not a copyright strike. Now before we get any further, I just want to quickly say, make sure you do read through these so you know the difference between a copyright takedown and a content ID claim. Now these are very different things. A copyright takedown will result in a strike on your channel, while a content ID claim will just give you some disadvantages like not being able to monetize the video or it may not be available in some countries. So make sure once you read through these, um, it's bit, I'll put it on the screen for a minute now, um, you'll have a bit more understanding of what this actually means. But let's come back here. So basically, if we are monetized, it'll be ineligible, but I am currently not in the YouTube program. So as you can see, even though you're not in the YouTube partner program, ads may be showing on your video. The revenue from these ads is being used to pay the artists and corporate owners for permission to use their content. So that is sort of the main disadvantage. If you are monetized, you won't be able to. Now down here, it's going to tell you the time zone the content was found. It was between one, um, 17 seconds in and 41 seconds in. And yeah, so that's the main thing. So as you can see, impact on the video, video cannot be monetized. This will vary the impact depending on the copyright owners so some may limit it for only some countries can watch it and a few other things so to fix this or to remove it you want to come down to actions now as you can see you click here and you've got a few options the first option is trim out the segment replace a song or a mute song or if you think you have the rights to this content you can actually dispute it but this if you only sure you have the rights to the content otherwise just do not do this you need to actually have the proper rights and written permission from the copyright owner but as you can see, there are a few options you can go for. So trimming out the segment is going to remove this section. Um, so the video is going to lose this time um, of about 24 seconds. Otherwise, you can just mute the song and YouTube will mute it and there'll just be nothing there. Or you can replace the song using a copyright free music. Now, personally, all of these sound pretty good for me. I'm just going to trim out the segment because I don't need the segment. But depending on what you've shown in the video, it may be necessary for you to keep it in. So I'm going to go and trim out segment here and it's gonna take us to the next stage. So we'll just to wait a minute, now as you can see, this is the trim video, so you can preview if you'd like, and you've got this here, so trim the claim part of the video, remove the part of the video where copyright content has been claimed, double check your video before continuing, the trim will remove things like info cards, ad breaks, and end screens that exist within the trimmed areas, so you may need to add those at the end once you've gone and trimmed it. So let's go and click continue, so that's the start time and the end time now, and let's continue. So as you can see, this process may take a while, after the video has been trimmed, we'll update any viewing or monetization restrictions. The video will remain in its current state until this process is complete. So basically, nothing's going to change instantly. It will take a few minutes or even hours um, for the trimming to occur. And once YouTube has trimmed the clip, then you'll be able to go and monetize the video um, as long as there's no more copyrighted music in it. So let's go and click trim. And uh, it's just loading, so wait a minute. 
And as you can see, trimming is in progress. This process may take a while. You can close this window and check back later. What do any viewing or monetization restrictions after your changes have been processed? The video will remain in its current state until this process is complete. So if we come back here and click refresh, as you can see, it's done it ourselves. It's still currently got that copyright claim for click see details again. And this is the next day. And as you can see, there are currently no restrictions on the video because we went and removed the copyright music. And uh, yeah, that is a quick up that I wanted to show you. Hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please go down below and hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.